Okay, I think we're all set. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, this summer actually marks my 10 year anniversary of joining Toastmasters. You might be wondering what's kept me coming back after nearly a decade, and the truth is, it's a great excuse for getting out of work for one hour every Wednesday. Okay, that, I mean, that's part of it. The reality is, no matter how many speeches I've given in the past, I have to continue working and practicing to keep my skills fresh in the present. That's what keeps me coming back. And I'm glad that I've stuck through it because this past year has actually brought about some really exciting changes for Toastmasters overall. If you're new to the club, you might not know this, but back in October, Toastmasters International completely revitalized their educational program. They called the new program Pathways. They've made a lot of positive changes. Everything is accessible online now. The way you progress through the educational track is completely customizable to your own development goals. And they've put all this new content out there, uh, videos and online classes that just didn't exist before. Despite all the positive changes, I have heard one gripe from some people, which is that it can be a little confusing and frustrating trying to figure out how to log on to this new website, where to find all these materials. So that's going to be my focus today. I'm going to provide you with a live demonstration of the Toastmasters website to hopefully alleviate some of those concerns. Outline today, first I'll quickly go over just what Pathways is and how it works, and then we'll get into the user interface, the website. I'll show you how to log in, where the launch page is, how to open up your curriculum, uh, access your speech evaluations, and then some additional resources that are available to you. So first off, just as a little summary of, of what Pathways is, Toastmasters has created these 10 unique learning paths that uh, you pick and choose from depending on what your personal development <coughs> goals are. All of these are different depending on which one you pick. That will then lay out the set of projects that you'll be working from uh, for the next year or two, depending on how quickly you move through them. They're all different, but the structure is the same no matter which one you pick. So the content is different, but the way they're laid out is the same. Each one is divided into five different levels. Each level has two or three speeches or projects associated with it. Once you've completed all five levels, Toastmasters will send you a, a certificate saying that you're proficient in this particular path or skill set. And then if you want to continue on your development after that, you would go back and pick another one of those 10 uh, learning paths to start. So that's it in a nutshell. I really want to move on to the, the actual website because I know this is where people have had a lot of questions. So the starting point to get started with Pathways is Toastmasters.org. This is Toastmasters homepage. You're going to log on there and click on Pathways. That's going to pull up this submenu. Click on Go to Basecamp. You can think of Basecamp as your headquarters for all things related to Pathways. When you do that, it's going to pull up a login screen. Just enter your credentials there. If you're new or if you've never logged on before, just click Forgot Password. They'll email you a temporary password, and then you can go back and customize your username and password after that. So once you're logged in, it's going to take you here. This isn't Basecamp yet. This is just a, a launch page. Uh, but really, all you're going to want to do is click this middle button where it says Log in as member, access Basecamp. That's going to take you to Basecamp, unless it's your first time logging in, in which case you're going to want to look at these other two buttons, uh, continue to path selection. If you haven't selected a path yet, you'll go here, and they have uh, some tools, yeah, survey some tools that help you pick which path best suits your needs. And also, if you're a beginner, I'd recommend checking out the Navigator. That's like an intro to Toastmasters beginner's guide that goes over not just pathways, but how Toastmasters works as a whole. But most of the time when you come to this page, you're just going to go skip all that, go right here, click on login as a member, and that's going to take you to Basecamp. Now, the first time you see this, it can be a little bit overwhelming. There's a lot of content here, a lot of things you can click on and explore. So I want to kind of clear the clutter. Let's just laser focus on the one thing you need to know on this page, which is down here. If you're trying to get into your speech projects, down here under My Education Transcript, it'll show the name of the path that you've chosen. Mine is called Leadership Development. And right next to that, you click on Open Curriculum. That's going to pull up another window that looks like this. And this is your path. This is where you access all your projects, all your speeches. We don't have manuals anymore. Um, it's all online now. So remember I said all the paths are divided into five levels. That's what you see here, one through five. What I'm showing are all of my speeches associated with level one. There's three of them. You can pick which one you want to work on by just clicking launch next to that project. Like right now, the speech I'm giving is an evaluation feedback speech. So I click launch, and it pulled up a window like this. This is your new online manual. We don't get these paper manuals anymore, but it's basically the same content, it's just on a website. It's kind of nice because you don't have to wait a couple weeks to get these in the mail. 
you don't have to worry about losing these. They're always accessible online. And as you click through it, you're going to see familiar content like what we had before. But they've added some new things too. Like they now have these interactive uh, skills assessments that you can take before and after you do the project. They've also added something I really like, which are these videos. They have interviews with experienced Toastmasters providing their tips and advice on whatever project you're working on. They also have demonstrations. They video uh, fake meetings where they demonstrate the, the right way to do things, the wrong way to do things. So I think this is a really nice enhancement to the, to the program. Once you click all the way through to the end of your virtual manual, you'll get to a page that describes how you're going to be evaluated on your speech. And one thing you're going to click on is where it says evaluation resource. That pulls up a blank copy of your speech evaluation. You can either email this to your evaluator, or what most people do is print out a copy and bring it to the meeting so they can give it to their evaluator. Okay, that, that's enough to get you started. I want to fast forward a little bit. Now, say you've, you've given your speech, you've been evaluated, you've gotten your written evaluation back. What do you do with this thing? This is another question I've heard, something I was confused about too. Where the heck are my completed evaluations? I re this is Pathways, everything should be online somewhere. Uh, and this was a little confusing for me, so I actually want to see what you guys think. Um, where do you think these evaluations should be found? Uh, show of hands, how many people think it should be right here under speech evaluations? It should be. Most people, right? Okay. How many of you are actually thinking, well, this is, this is feedback that you've gotten from your peer, so maybe it's going to be over here under my feedback. Anybody? Okay. Well, if you said speech evaluations, you're wrong. Um, if you said my feedback, you're also wrong. <laughs> We're all wrong, because actually it's down here under my education transcript. Oh, wow. I don't know why they put it there, but that's where it is. If you click on that, it's going to pull up this other new menu with a new button called ePortfolio. This is the only way I figured out how to get there so far, so it's kind of hidden. Um, but once you click on that, it pulls up this file structure. This is basically cloud storage that Toastmasters has given us, kind of like a Google Drive or a Dropbox. Um, it's completely empty when you start out, and it'll stay empty unless you actually go out and upload files to it. So that's what I've done. Open up one of these folders. I'll usually take my completed evaluation, scan it in, and then, or you can even just take a picture of it, and then click on Add File, and you can upload that scan file online so it's always available to you. Okay, I've covered the basics. That's all I'm going to have time for today. I, I think I may have already gone at kind of a blistering pace. Um, but if you want to dig into this deeper, I recommend clicking on Tutorials and Resources or Navigating Basecamp. It'll give you a lot more um, videos, quick access guides, FAQs on how to use this website. Um, and just to recap, we went over the Pathways program structure. I showed you uh, kind of how to get started with the website, where to find your online manuals, where to find your evaluations and how to upload those, and a couple links for further reading. In conclusion, I'm excited for Pathways. Uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve at the beginning to get going, but hopefully this tutorial uh, has helped you get over that initial hurdle. Uh, now that I'm working in the program, I can say that I love what they've done with it, and I think that you'll love it too. Mr. Toast.